Hello everyone, welcome back to the new lesson. So today we're going to learn three of the Korean sentence connectors. 그래도, 그러면, and 그러려면. And we're going to learn how to change them into a conjunction and how to use it in a sentence. So let's first start off with 그래도. So 그래도 means but still, regardless. So the first sentence 그래도 the next sentence means regardless of the first sentence, the next sentence. So we use 그래도 when we want to say uh, the fact or the condition stated in the first sentence doesn't affect what's stated in the second sentence. So this sentence, but still this sentence is the meaning. And we're going to look at more of the example sentences so that you can understand better. But let's first look at how to uh, change it into a conjunction form. So for 그래도, you put the present verb. So you conjugate a verb stem to a present form and then put 도. That's how 그래도 is turned into a conjunction and connects two sentences into one sentence. So for example, 비가 와요. 그래도 기분이 좋아요. We learn what 비가 와요 means, right? It means it's raining, right? So the literal meaning is the rain is coming, but we say it like this when we say it's raining, the weather is rainy. 비가 와요. 그래도, but still it's raining, but still 기분이 좋아요. We also learned this expression. 기분이 좋아요 means my mood. 기분이 좋아요 is good. So I'm feeling very well. I feel good, right? So this sentence means it's raining, but still, regardless, I feel good. So the first sentence doesn't affect the second sentence happening, right? It doesn't affect my mood, right? In this situation, you can use 그래도. And let's make these two sentences into one sentence by making it into a conjunction. So what you can do is you combine 그래도 with the verb in the previous sentence, right? And you have to change it into a present verb. So 오다 changes to 와, right? And you put 도. So you can say, okay, let's zoom it a bit more. 비가 비가 와도, even if it rains, even if it's raining, 비가 와도 기분이 좋아요. 비가 와도 기분이 좋아요. This condition doesn't affect this result, right? That's when you use 그래도, and that's how it can be turned into a conjunction. And now let's practice more with more verbs. So I brought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight verbs to practice how to combine them with 도 conjunction. So we learned that we put the present verb and then 도, right? So 먹다's present form is 먹어, right? 먹어. And you put 도. 먹어도, oh. 먹다, I'm pretty sure everyone knows what 먹다 means by now. It means eat, right? It's a very common verb, right? And 먹어도 means even if I eat, right? I eat, but still, right? Uh, let's make one sentence with it. Um, let's try to write, even if I eat a lot, I'm not full. I eat a lot, but regardless, I'm not full. How do we say it? Can you practice making it yourself first? 많이, a lot, an adverb, right? 많이 먹어도, 많이 먹어도 Even if I eat a lot, right? I eat a lot, but regardless, I'm not full. 배가, 배가 So to be, uh, uh, 배가 부르다, 배가 부르다 배부르다 or 배가 부르다 means to be full and when you want to negate and say, I'm not full, you can put 안, 안, 배안 부르다. So, 배가 안 부르다's present form is 불러, 불러, or in 존댓말, 불러요. 
많이 먹어도 배가 안 불러요. Even if I eat a lot, 배가 안 불러요. I'm not full. And the next verb is 부르다. So 부르다 itself has uh, many other meanings than just to be full. But here, I meant to be full. So let's make a sentence that means even if you're not full, stop eating. Even if you're not full, stop eating. So 배가, we just learned how to say you're, you're not full or I'm not full, right? 배가 안 불러. 불러. We learned that 부르다's present form is 불러, right? So 배가 안 불러, and then you put 부. 배가 안 불러도, even if you're not full, stop eating. Stop eating. You can say 그만 verb. 그만 먹어. So when you say 그만 in present verb, it means stop that verb. 그만 먹어, stop eating. 배가 안 불러도 그만 먹어. And next one, I also brought another irregular verb, 다르다, 다르다. Do you know how to conjugate it in a present form? So 부르다 becomes 불러, and 다르다 becomes 달라, 달라. And then you put 도. So this is one of the irregular verbs that you want to take note of, 달라도. So let's say, even if we are of different race, we still love each other. 우리는, 우리는, we, right? We, 우리는. 인종 means race. 인종, 인종. So it also comes from uh, the Chinese character. So 인 means a person, a human, and 종 means kind. So 인종 literally means humankind, and it is used to mean race. So 우리는 인종이 달라도, 달라도, 인종이 달라도. So when you say something 이 다르다, it means something is different. So race is different. Even if we are different in race, right? Even if our race is different, 우리는 인종이 달라도. 서로 is an adverb that means each other. 서로, or it can also be a, a noun that means each other, but here it is used as an adverb. 서로 사랑해요. We love each other. 서로 사랑해요. 우리는 인종이 달라도 서로 사랑해요. Even if our race is different, we still love each other. And I also brought like other irregular verbs just so that uh, you guys can practice more. And I'm also uh, planning to make a separate irregular verb class or lesson because it is something that a lot of learners find the most confusing or one of the things that confuse learners the most. So um, I'm going to have that lesson. Uh, and for here as well, I also brought um, many irregular verbs like 듣다 and 닫다. And I think you guys already know how to conjugate 듣다 in present form because we practiced a lot in our previous lessons. And 듣다 becomes 들어, right? 들어, 들어. Present verb, 들어도. Even if I listen, 들어도. So let's say um, this song, uh, even if I listen to this song many times, I don't get tired of it. How do we say it? It's, it's a little difficult, right? But um, let's do it together. So this song, 이 노래는, this 노래, song, 이 노래는 많이 들어도, 많이, which is an adverb that means a lot, and 들어도, 이 노래는, for this song, even if I listen to it a lot or many times, 많이 들어도, so here's another verb that could uh, be very useful for you to use. 질리지 않아요. So we learned that when we say verb, uh, the stem verb, 지 않아요, is also another way to negate a verb, negate a verb. 
So, 질리지 않아요 means it's not 질리다. It's not 질리다, right? And 질리 comes from the verb 질리다. 질리다. It's a stem. Okay, stem. 질리다. And 질리다 means to get tired of something because you have done something or watched something or uh, seen something too many times. 질리다. To get tired of. So, so it's different from 피곤하다 because 피곤하다 means you are like physically tired or even mentally tired. But 질리다 means you are kind of sick of something because of uh, the repetition or because you did it too many times. 질리다. So 이 노래는 많이 들어도 질리지 않아요. 질리지 않아요. I don't get sick of it. I don't get tired of it. Even if I listen to it a lot. And uh, let's move on to the next uh, verb. 바쁘다 means be busy. And when you want to conjugate it in present form, it becomes 바빠, 바빠, right? And you put 도. So even if I'm busy. Uh, how do we say uh, thanks for coming? Even if you are busy. So let's write even if you're busy first. 바빠도, 바빠도, 바빠도 even if you're busy. 와줘서, 와줘서, 고마워, 고마워, thank you, thank you. And 서 is a conjunction, right, that states the reason. Right? Reason and then result, right? So, 와줘서 고마워. 와줘 comes from 와 주다. And it's a combination of the verb 오다 and 주다. And these kinds of verbs are very common in, in Korean. So, when you place 주다 after a present verb, uh, it has extra meaning of doing a favor. So, 와주다 and 오다 are different in that 오다 just mean, uh, it means co to come, but 와주다 means to do a favor of coming. So, 와주다 more has the meaning of somebody doing a favor, somebody offering kindness enough to come. 와주다. So, 바빠도 와줘서 고마워, even if you're busy coming, because of that, thank you. 바빠도 와줘서 고마워. Thank you for coming, even if you're busy. And the next verb is 낫다. 낫다. 낫다 means to get better, as in like physical condition, to heal from illness. So it doesn't mean to get better at skill. It means to get better in like physical or mental condition. 낫다. That, that is also an irregular verb, and if you want to conjugate it in present tense, it becomes da a. Da a. That becomes da a. And put to. Da do. Da do. Even if you get better. Da do. Even if I got better from a cold, my head still hurts. How do we say it? So for cold, you can say 감기. 감기 means cold, like I have a cold, that kind of cold. 감기가 나도, even if my cold got better, 감기가 나도, 머리가, 머리가, 머리 means head, 머리가 아파요. My head is sick or hurt, 머리가 아파요. You can use it like this. And the last two verbs. So I bought sitta because even if these two both have shiut batim, shiut batim in the stem, they are conjugated differently. They follow the different rule. So sitta is not an irregular verb and it just follows a normal rule. So it has e follow, right? So you can say shisa. 씻어, 씻어. So let's say even if a cat. Oh, so 씻다 means, ah, uh, 씻다 means to wash or to clean, and sometimes it means to clean, to wash oneself. So it can also mean to take a shower. 
also take a shower. So let's say even if a cat doesn't wash, they don't smell. So cat is 고양이, right? 고양이는, as for cat, 고양이는 안 씻어도, even if they don't wash, 안 씻어도, 안 씻어도, they don't smell. 냄새가 나다 means to smell. 냄새 is a noun that means smell. And when you use it with a verb, 나다, 나다, it means to smell. Something smells. So, 냄새가 나요 means it's smelly, it smells. And when you want to say it's not smelly, you can simply put 안 before a verb, right? 안 나요. 고양이는 안 씻어도 냄새가 안 나요. A cat doesn't smell even if they don't wash. And our, our last verb for 그래도 is 이다, the be verb, right? And just like we're used to, uh, a be verb al always has uh, its own rule when it's combined with a conjunction. So 이다 becomes 이어도 or 이라도 if the stem has 받침 but if a stem doesn't have 받침 you can just say 여도 or 라도 so uh, let's say even if you are a genius, even if you are a genius, you won't solve this problem. How do we say it? So, a genius we learn is 천재, right? 천재. 천재, this word. Oh no, sorry. Sorry, I said stem of the verb, right? But I meant noun, noun. Because, because 이다 is a be verb, right? And it, it is always followed by a noun, right? It is noun, right? So... When a noun has 받침, it's 이어도. And, and when a noun doesn't have 받침, it's 여도 or 라도. However, these two are more commonly used in a spoken sentence. So let's say, so how do you say, even if you are, are a beaver, right? You are a genius. 천재, 천재 means genius and it doesn't have 받침 at the end, right? So you can go with 라도, not 이라도. 천재라도. 천재라도 이 문제를 이 문제를 this problem object marking particle 이 문제를 so here is another word for you guys so by looking at 거예요 이를 받침 거예요 we can know that this is a future tense right? will right? and 못 Oh, there's would, then it means can't, right? Won't be able to this verb. So this verb comes from 풀다, 풀다, which also has a lot of meanings, but here it means to solve. So when you say 문제를 풀다, 문제를 풀다, it means to solve a problem. So when you say 천재라도, 천재라도, even if you're a genius, even if one is a genius, 이 문제를 못풀 거예요. They won't be they won't be able to solve this problem. 이 문제를 못풀 거예요. Okay, so we just learned how to use 그래도 and 도 conjunction in a sentence. And now let's move on to 그러면, which means then. So 그러면 itself means then. So when you use it in a sentence, we normally use it in context where we state the condition in the first sentence and then the result happens. Or when a supposed situation or an imagined situation happens, then the result sentence happens. We use it in context like this and we're going to practice more with more sentences. But first, you can make it in a conjunction by following this rule. So this time, unlike 그래도, it's not present verb. You shouldn't, you shouldn't conjugate it in present verb, but you should leave the base verb as it is. You just take out the base form and then put 면. Or if the stem ends in 받침, you put extra 으면. 
So let's all practice with sentences. So, 매일 한국어를 공부하세요. 매일 한국어를 공부하세요. We can now understand what this means, right? 매일 we learn means every day, right? Every day. 한국어, Korean. 공부하세요. 공부하세요. Study. Hey, you, study. 공부하세요. It's in 새일 ending, right? Every day, study Korean. Study Korean every day. 매일 한국어를 공부하세요. 그러면, then, 그러면 실력이 늘 거예요. 실력이 늘 거예요. So this is also a good expression to use. So when you say 실력이, 실력이 늘다. 실력 means um, uh, someone's ability at some skill. Someone's ability at some skill. And when you say 늘다, it means to improve. So a lot of learners find the dictionary and find the word 향상하다, 향상하다 or 향상되다 for the word improve. But this is um, kind of a advanced vocabulary. That is a good word, but casually we use this word much more often. 늘다, when we say our ability got improved. So 실력이 늘 거예요. 늘 거예요, future tense, right? Will improve. So study Korean every day. 내일 한국어를 공부하세요. 그러면 then 실력이 늘 거예요. You will improve. And let's make it in one sentence by making 그러면 in a conjunction. So you take out the stem of the verb in the previous sentence. 공부하, 공부. 하면 공부하면 공부하면 right you take out the stem and just put 면 so if you study Korean every day 실력이 늘 거예요 매일 한국어를 공부하면 실력이 늘 거예요 study Korean every day so it can be safely translated as if you study Korean every day, you will improve. So, 면 conjunction. So, 면 conjunction is used when you want to, when you are talking about a certain condition leading to a certain result. And also, it can be used when you are supposing a situation, and in that situation, uh, the result will happen. This time as well, let's practice with um, uh, several verbs here. So, 오다 means to come, right? And it is also used when we say uh, it's raining. So, how do you say, if it rains, I won't go? If it rains, I won't go. 비가 오스템 면 If it's raining, right? 비가 오면 condition. 비가 오면 I won't go. 안 가다, right? 안 가. Won't change it into future form. 안갈 거예요. 안갈 거예요. I won't go if it rains. And uh, how, how about 먹다? So for 먹다, since the stem has 받침, you should put extra 우 in between and say 먹으면. So how do you say if you eat a lot, you gain weight? So eat a lot, 많이. 먹으면, 많이 먹으면, 많이 먹으면, if you eat a lot, you gain weight. So this is also a useful expression to use when you want to say uh, you gain weight. 살이 안 쪄요. Oh, sorry, sorry. 쪄요. So it comes from this verb, 살이 찌다. So we, we use this expression when we say we gain weight. So in English, you guys say you gain weight, but in Korean, we say we gain flash. <laughs> 살 means flash. So 살이 찌다, and 살이 찌다, conjugated in present form, 쪄요. So 많이 먹으면, if you eat a lot, 살이 쪄요. How about, if you don't eat a lot, you lose weight. You lose weight. So the rest 
of the elements are same except that you put an 먹으면 많이 안 먹으면 if you don't eat a lot right 많이 안 먹으면 instead of 살이 쪄요 you can say 살이 빠져요 살이 빠져요 this comes from 살이 빠지다 which means to like 빠지다 lose flesh 살이 빠지다 so 살이 빠져요 means to lose weight and 살이 찌다 means to gain weight these are ex uh, uh, useful expressions to take note of and 섞다 I'm not sure how many of you guys are familiar with this um, verb because this is the first time I think uh, that I brought this verb and 섞다 means to mix and how do you say if you mix white and black it becomes gray so there are many color vocabularies here right 하얀색 하얀색 means so 색 means color and 하얀색 means white color 하얀색과 and 하얀색과 검정색 검정색 or you can also say 검은색 검은색 for black 하얀색과 검은색을 검은색을 섞으면 섞으면 으면 right because this stem has 받침 하얀색과 검정색을 섞으면 it becomes gray so do you guys remember how to say uh, become it's 개다 개다 and conjugated in present verb it becomes 회색이 되요 되요 become 회색 so when you say uh, noun 이 되다 it, or 이가 되다 it means to become a noun so 이 되요 noun 이 되요 회색 이 되요 회색 as you guessed it it means gray it becomes gray 하얀색과 검정색을 섞으면 if you mix the color white and black 회색이 돼요 it becomes gray so these are all so these sentences let's move on to more verbs so 운동하다 운동하다 means to work out or to exercise and how do you say if you exercise you lose weight do you remember how to say you lose weight that we just learned? So, 운동하면, the stem, and then 면, 운동하면, 살이, you lose weight. How do you say lose weight? 살이 빠져요, right? 살이 빠져요. Or how do you say you don't gain weight? You don't. 살이 안 져요. You can just negate 살이 찌다 verb, right? 살이 안 쪄요. You don't gain weight. And 다르다, 만나다. So 다르다, we learn, means to be different, right? So when you want to say if it's different, you can put the stem and say 면. 다르면, 다르면. If your personality is different, you fight often. 성격이, 성격이, 성격 means personality. 성격이 다르면, if your personality is different, 성격이 다르면, 자주 means often, 싸우다 means to fight. 싸우다 is present form, it's 싸워. You 자주 싸워요, fight often. 성격이 다르면, if your personality is different, 자주 싸워요. And uh, 만나다 means to meet, right? So when you say BTS를 만나면, 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 I think I will be happy. 행복할 것 같아요. I just used the expression that we learned and how to express your opinion in Korean lesson. 것 같아요. 행복할. So we haven't learned the 리을 받친 것 같아요 yet, but it basically refers to the uh, assumption or the 
thought you have about how you will be in the future. So how something will be in the future. So 행복할 것 같아요. 행복하 comes from 행복하다, which means to be happy, right? I think I will be happy. 행복할 것 같아요. I think I will be happy if I meet BTS. BTS를 만나면, 만나면 행복할 것 같아요. And for the next six verbs, I brought irregular verbs. So we learned that you take out the stem, and if a stem has patim, you put 으면, right? So if you follow the exact rule, it becomes 두두면. However, this is wrong. We don't say it like this. We instead say 두으면, 두. So 디귿 받침 changes to 리을 받침, and it's because 두다 is an irregular verb. So how do you say, if you listen to loud music too many times, it's not good for your ears. So 시끄러, 시끄럽다 means to be loud. And when you say 시끄러운 noun, it means a loud noun. So 시끄러운 music, 음악을, 시끄러운 음악을 too many times, 너무 많이. Too many times, listen, 들으면, 들으면, 시끄러운 음악을 너무 많이 들으면, if you listen to loud music too many times, 들으면, it's not good for your ears. 귀에, 귀에 안 좋아요. 귀에 안 좋아요. When we say noun에 좋아요, it means it's good for noun. But when we say 귀, uh, some noun a 안 좋아요. It means it's not good for noun. 귀 means ear, ear. So it's not good for your ear. 시끄러운 음악을 너무 많이 들으면 귀에 안 좋아요. And also these two are irregular verbs as well when combined with 으면, 오면. So it's supposed to be 살 으면, right? Because this one has 받침. But if a stem has if a stem has real button, you just put 살, not extra 으, and then just put 면, 살면, 벌면, 벌면. So how do you say, if you live in Seoul, it would be fun. If you live in Seoul, 서울에 살면, we learned that we use the conjunction 에, when it comes to live in somewhere, right? 서울에 살면, if you live in Seoul, 서울에 살면, it would be fun. 재미 있겠네, 재미 있겠네, or 재미 있겠네요. So this is um, a sentence ending, a sentence ending that has a particular meaning of kind of like assuming. So 재미 있�ne means, uh, I think it would be fun, you know, it would be fun. 재미있겠네요. So, 서울에 살면, if you live in Seoul, so this is an imagined uh, situation, right? 서울에 살면, if you live in Seoul, that would be fun. 재미있겠네요. 벌다. So, 벌다 is a common verb used with 돈을 벌다. 돈을 벌다. So, 돈 means money. And when we say 돈을 벌다, it means to earn money, to make money. So, 돈을 벌다 means to make money. So how do you say, if I make a lot of money, I will buy a house. If I make a lot of money, 돈을 많이, the adverb comes before a verb, 많이 벌면, 돈을 많이 벌면, 돈을 많이 벌면, I will buy a house. A house, object, 집을 사다, right? 사다, to buy. Will buy. 니를 받친 거예요. 집을 살 거예요. 돈을 많이 벌면 집을 살 거예요. If I make a lot of money, I will buy a house. And the last three irregular verbs. So 춥다, 무섭다. They all have in common that the stem ends in 비읍 받침. And when, in this case, when it's combined with the conjunction 면, you put the stem and then delete beep, delete beep, and then put u. 
and then man. Chu man. Chupta means to be cold. So if you are cold or if it is cold. Chu man. And same with the the verb with the opposite meaning or the adjective with the opposite meaning. Topta means to be hot, right? And how do you say if it's hot or if you're hot? To, to and delete piut. U, u, to, u, If it's hot, if you're hot. And musapta means scary or to be scared. It both means, uh, it, it has both meanings. And musapta also, you now know how to make it uh, combined with conjunction mion. Musa. Delete piut. U, mian. So these two are also the irregular verbs. So let's make uh, one sentence using chu mian. If you are cold, put on a coat. Hot is coat in Korean, it's Konglish. Ipta means to wear, to put on, and ibo. Wear a coat if you are cold. And the last uh, irregular verb, data, we learned that it means to get better, right? From illness, from a certain illness, to get better. Nata. So how do you say, if your cold gets better, let's go traveling. If your cold gets better, so we learn how to say that. 감기가, 감기가, 감기 meant cold, right? 감기가 나, 으, yeah. Here, you delete 시읒 받침, and then put 으, yeah. 나으면, let's go traveling. 여행 means travel, and 여행 가다 means to go traveling. 여행 가자, let's go traveling. 여행 가자. 감기가 나오면 여행 가자. And one more thing, just so that you don't get confused. When it comes to the verb 씻다, it's not an irregular verb. So you can say 자주, often. 씻, 씻, 씻으면. You just, it just follows the regular rule. So just because a verb, just because the stem of the verb ends in 씻 받침 doesn't mean all verbs are... Uh, irregular verbs. Some verbs are and some verbs aren't. So that's something that you need to note. And 자주 씻으면 냄새가 안 나요. I'm pretty sure that by now, if you've been following this lesson, you know what the sentence means. 자주 씻으면 냄새가 안 나요. 냄새, we learn it means smell. And when it's used with the verb 나요, it becomes a verb of to smell. So, 냄새가 나요 means it smells, it's smelly. 냄새가 안 나요 means it doesn't smell, right? 냄새가 안 나요. Often, 씻다, we also learn this verb, right? To wash or even to take a shower. 자주 씻으면, if you wash yourself often, then 냄새가 안 나요. You won't smell. You don't smell. 냄새가 안 나요. And lastly, the 이다 verb, the be verb. In this case, you can say 이면 or 면. Let's look at this dialogue. So person A asks, 티켓 가격이 얼마예요? 티켓 가격이 얼마예요? So 가격이 얼마예요? Or you can just say 얼마예요? 가격 means price. So 가격이 얼마예요 means price how much. But you can just say 얼마예요 to mean how much. 티켓 is a Konglish for a ticket. You can also say 표, 표. This is a Korean word, 표, for a ticket. So 표 얼마예요? How much is the ticket? And person B says 학생이면 천 원이고 성인이면 이천 원입니다. 학생이면 성인이면 Here, 이면 is used, right? So the noun has 받침 so, 이면 is used. So, if you are 학생, student, then it's 천원, 이고, 이고, and 성인이면, so 성인 is a word for adult. 
성인이면, if you are an adult, 성인이면 2000원입니다. It's 2001. So you can use it like this. 막내면, 막내면 존댓말을 써. 막내면 존댓말을 써. Here, 면 is used after a noun, 막내. Do you guys remember what 막내 means? 막내? 막내 means the youngest in a family or in a group. So 막내면, if you are the youngest, it's a noun, 막내면 존댓말을 써. 쓰다. The present verb of 쓰다, which means it has a lot of meanings, but here it means to use. Use 존댓말. Use honorific form. 막내면 존댓말을 써. So you can use uh, 면 like this with 이다 verb. And there are actually a lot more ways to say if something happened, then this might happen. Uh, so when it comes to making an assumption or imagining stuff, there are more ways uh, in Korean language. For example, you can also use 만일 or 만약 uh, at the front part of the sentence and then put 면. However, this is something that we are going to learn later because uh, for now, this might fry your brain because there are a lot to explain about this grammar. And this is also one of one of the most confusing grammar. So um, just know that 만일 and 만약 is an adverb that indicates that something hasn't happened yet, but if that something happens. So this is another adverb for that. But uh, for now, using the conjunction 면 in the right way by combining it with the base verb in the condition sentence in the first sentence would be more than enough. And this was also used uh, many times in Korean language. So this is also a very useful sentence connector and conjunction. And now let's move on to our last conjunction or sentence connector. 그러려면 그러려면, so it's not 그러면, it's 그러려면. And it means in order to do that. So how it works is, oh, so here it is. So in the first sentence, you, uh, you state your plan or your intention. And you say 그러려면, in order to do that. And the result sentence, the following sentence, should contain the required action to do this plan or this intention. So usually, the the following sentence is in the form of someone should or in imperative mood do this because it's supposed to contain re required action. So if you didn't get it now, it's okay. We're gonna practice with more sentences. For now, let's learn how to make it in a conjunction. So you put the base stem. It's not present verb, base stem. And then, 려면 or 으려면. And we, know, and we now know when to put 으, right? When the stem ends in 받침, you say 으려면. If it doesn't end in 받침, you just say 려면. So let's look at the example sentences. So 그러려면 can be used in context like this. So person A says, BTS를 만나고 싶어요. 보고 싶어요. Want to verb, right? 만나고 싶어요. Want to meet BTS. I want to meet BTS. And person B says, 그러려면, 그러려면. To do that, in order to do that, in order to meet BTS, 콘서트에 가세요. Go to concert. Con concert is a Konglish word for concert. Then go to their concert. And if you want to combine these two sentences and make it in one, you can say BTS를 만나, 만나. So you take out the stem of the verb, base stem of the verb, 만나. And this doesn't end in 받침, right? So you don't have to say 만나 으려면, 만나 려면. 만나 려면, 려면. So this is a combination of 만나, Banna from the verb, stem from the verb, and 려면 from 그러려면. So to meet BTS, in order to meet BTS, and the next sentence is supposed to be a required action to fulfill that plan, right? 가세요. So I told you guys that it's usually in the form of uh, you should do something or in an imperative mood, right? commanding or suggesting other people to do something. 
콘서트에 가세요. Go to their concert. BTS를 만나려면 콘서트에 가세요. So let's practice with more verbs. So uh, I brought uh, this expression 살을 빼다, which is different from 살이 빠지다, that we just learned it means to lose weight. 살이 빠지다 means to lose weight. Then what does 살을 빼다 mean? When we say 살을 빼다, it means a human, a person, tries to lose weight. A person loses weight. So I don't know if this explanation makes sense, but this is more of a passive form and this is more of an active form because a person, person loses weight, whereas this means the weight is lost. The weight is lost. The flesh got out. 살이 빠지다. So that's how it means to lose weight. But 살을 빼다 means a person, a person tries to lose weight. So you can say 살을, 살을 빼려면 in order to lose weight. So these two basically mean almost the same thing, right? It means to lose weight, except that uh, to break it down grammatically, uh, it's not entirely the same, right? So that's why 살을, 살 is an object in this expression, and here it's a subject in this expression. 살이 빠지다, the flash got out, and 살을 빼다 means you Beda means to get rid of. Beda means to get rid of, so you get rid of your flesh. So in that sense, it means to lose weight. So 살을 빼려면, 살을 빼려면, in order to lose weight, 운동을, 운동을 열심히, 운동을 열심히 해야 돼요. 해야 돼요. So by learning this conjunction, we are also learning a very useful expression that means should in Korean. So before I go on, let's learn how to say should verb in Korean. So you can say present verb and then put ya dheda or ya hada after it. So dheda, if dheda is conjugated in present form, it's dhe, right? So that's why in sentences, it's usually in the form of ya tue yo, ya tue yo, ya tue yo. So when you say he from hada, he ya due yo, it means you should do it. He ya due yo. And also, you can also say ya hada, ya hada. So conjugated in present form, and it's often used verb ya he yo in sentences. So both 해야 돼요 and 해야 해요 means the same thing. You should do it. You should do it. So, these are the expressions that we're going to use a lot in this conjunction. So, 살을 빼려면, in order to lose weight, 운동을 하다 means to exercise, right? 운동을 hard, 열심히 해야 돼요. 야 돼요, 야 돼요. You should work out Hard. You should exercise hard. 운동을 열심히 해야 돼요. Or like we learned, you can also say 해야 해요. 해야 돼요. 해야 해요. You should do it. How about uh, 잘하다? If you want to be good in Korean, 한국어를, 한국어를 잘하다 means to be good at, right? So 잘 means well and 하다 means do. But it's also a verb that means to be good at something. 한국어를 잘하려면 잘하, right? Stem and then 려면. 잘하려면, 잘하려면, then study hard. 공부를, let's write it in imperative mood. 공부를 열심히 하세요. We now know what this sentence means, right? Like this is one of the 공부하다 means 공부하다 is one of the verbs that, that I mention very frequently in my lessons, so you guys ought to know this. 공부를 열심히 하세요. Uh, study hard. And 만나다. 만나다. How do you say, in order to meet BTS, where should I go? Where should I go? BTS를 stem 만나. 려면, right? 려면, BTS를 만나려면, where should I go? 
어디에? 어디에? Should I go? Should go. How do you say should go? 가다. And then, 야, 해요, or 해요, right? Both are acceptable. Both mean should. 가야 해요, should go. To where should I go in order to meet BTS? BTS를 만나라면, 어디에 가야 해요, where should I go? And these two verbs, I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with it, but um, 잡다 means to grab or to catch. And 찾다 means to look for, and it also means to find. So let's just practice combining this verb with, with 의료하면 conjunction. So you take out the stem, and they both have 받침. So you can say, 잡으려면, 잡으려면, 찾으려면, 찾으려면, you put 으, extra 으, because the stem ends in 받침. In order to catch, in order to find. So how do you say, to find my wallet, where should I report to? 지갑 means a wallet. 지갑, 지갑을, 지갑을. 찾으려면, in order to find a wallet, to where, 어디에, report means, I mean, to report is 신고하다, 신고하다, 하다, and change it in present verb, 신고해, and write should, 신고해야 돼요, oh, there's not enough space, so let's just write it in 반말. 신고해야 돼, 해야 돼, or 해야 해, right? 어디에 신고해야 돼? Where should I report? 지갑을 찾으려면 to where, 어디에 신고해야 돼? And 되다, we learn, means to become. This is a very frequently used uh, a, a, a verb, 되다, to become. So we use this when we say, I want to be something or someone. So how do you say, in order to be a singer, what should I do? In order to be a singer, what should I do? So this is also a fixed expression. 이 올까 되다. 이 올까 되다. Noun, noun, 이 올까 되다. Means to become a noun. So 가수 is a singer. 가수가, 가수가 돼, 되려면, 되려면, in order to become a singer, right? 가수가 되려면, what should I do? So in Korean, in English, it's what should I do? But in Korean, we more often say, 어떻게 해야 돼요? 어떻게 해야 돼요? We all know that 해야 돼요 means should do, but how is used. So how should I do means what should I do in English. So it's a different, the way we express um, not knowing what to do is kind of different, right? Because in English, you guys use the question word what, whereas we use how. So 어떻게 해야 돼요 means what should I do. 가수가 되려면 어떻게 해야 돼요? But 어떻게 해야 돼요 in certain contexts can also mean how should I do it? Like asking for a way, a method to do something. So it all depends on context, but um, in certain contexts it also means what should I do? 어떻게 해야 돼요? 아, 어떻게 해? What should I do? And these two are the irregular verbs when combined with 려면. So 낫다 becomes 나으려면 so you delete 시읒 and put extra 으 and then put 려면 낫다 we learned this verb twice in this lesson right it means to get better to heal from an illness so how do you say in order for my cold to get better fast what medicine should i take in order for my cold to get better fast 감기가 빨리 나으려면 
Kanji, we all learn, it means cold, right? I have a cold, I kind of cold. Bali is also a good adverb that is used as frequently as bani. So bani means a lot, and bali means fast. It's an adverb. So kanji ga bali naureomyeon in order to heal, in order to get better. In order for kanji to get better fast, kanji ga bali naureomyeon. 무슨 약? What medicine? 무슨 약 means medicine. 무슨 약을 should I take? So we say 약을 먹다. We say we eat the medicine when we say we take medicine. So should eat. How do you say should eat? Present verb 먹어야 해요 or 먹어야 돼요, right? 무슨 약을 먹어야 해요? 감기가 빨리 아, 감기가 빨리 나으려면 무슨 약을 먹어야 해요? And for 만들다, 만들다 means to make. It is also an irregular verb, so it's not 만들으려면, it's 만들려면, 만들려면. So when you say 이거, this 다 만들려면. Oh, and by the way, guys, um, a lot of Koreans sometimes use 만들려면, like 만들려면. So this is actually grammatically wrong. I just looked it up. But um, a lot of Koreans seem to write it like this sometimes. And this is grammatically wrong. But if you like see someone using 만들려면 instead of 만들려면, knowing that he or she actually meant 만들려면 is just fine. In case you guys might be confused, I'm just mentioning it. 만들려면 is the correct form. So, 이거 다 만들려면 시간이 오래 걸릴 거예요. 시간이 오래 걸릴 거예요. So here it means in order to finish this, in order to make them all, 시간이 오래 걸릴 거예요. It's gonna take a lot of time. So I brought this example sentence because um, sometimes you can also Sometimes the following sentence can also be a prediction, assumption. So in order to make this, it's going to take a lot of time. This is an assumption, right? It doesn't necessarily uh, include the required action, but this is also a possible usage. So 이거 다 만들려면. So I think I've mentioned this in one of my previous lessons that when you say 다 verb, it means to finish doing the verb. So ta itself means everything or all, but it can also be used as an adverb that comes before a verb to mean you finish the verb. So 이거 다 만들려면 to finish making this all, 이거 다 만들려면 시간이 time 오래 걸리다. So when we say 시간이 많이 걸리다 or 오래 걸리다, it means it takes a long time. 시간이 오래 걸리다. This is an adverb that means long. And 오래 걸리다 means takes long. So 걸릴 거예요 means will take a lot of time. So in order to make this, 이거 다 만들려면 시간이 오래 걸릴 거예요. It's gonna take a lot of time. And I brought the last verb, 지 않다. Stem verb, 지 않다, is also is another way to negate a verb we learn, right? It's the same as 안 verb, putting 안 before a verb. But uh, all of these two are an acceptable form of negation of a verb, right? Since we don't have enough space in this paper, let's move on to a blank page. So when you say verb, the stem of the verb, 지 않다, it means to not play, right? And when you want to say in order not to verb, you can say 지 안, 안 is the stem, right? 안, and then put 으 because this one ends in 받친. Oh, sorry, I forgot to put on the microphone. Okay, so this is better. The sound is much better with the microphone, right? So, 지 안으려면, 지 안으려면, 
So if you want to say in order not to be late, you can use the verb dutta, dutta, which means to be late. And then you say dutti anuryomyan. In order not, in order not to be late, dutti anuryomyan, dutti anuryomyan. It it means early. It's an adverb. It it. 나가 나가 means to go out. 일찍 나가 go out early or 일찍 나가요 or 일찍 나가세요 for 존댓말. 늦지 않으려면 일찍 나가세요. And let's make one last sentence. Uh, let's try. In order not to catch a cold, in order not to catch a cold, you should wash your hands often. You should wash your hands often. So to catch a cold. Is 감기. We learned that 감기 means cold, right? But to catch a cold is 감기에 걸리다. 걸리다. We learned that 걸리다. This verb can also be used with time. So when we say 시간이 오래 걸리다, it means to take a lot of time, right? But here, if it's used with the noun 감기 and say 감기에 걸리다, it means to catch a cold. So, 감기에 걸리, take up the stem, 지 않다. In order not to, so, 안으려면, 감기에 걸리지 않으려면, 감기에 걸리지 않으려면, 손을, 손, 손, we learn means hand, right? 손을, often, do you guys remember how to say often? 자주, 자주, 씻어, 씻어. 씻다 is present form, right? 씻어야 해요. 씻어야 해요. We learned that to say should verb, we have to change it in present verb, right? 씻어야 해요. We should wash our hands often. Or you can also say 씻어야 돼요. You should. So there are two more ways to say in order to, which is verb. They're all stem of the verb. Let's write stem so that you don't get confused. Stem of the verb and say 려고 or 으려고 if it contains, I mean, if it ends in 받침 or 기위해. They all mean in order to verb. However, they are different, slightly different from the conjunction that we just learned, 으려면. In that, um, so we learned that for this conjunction, the following sentence should uh, contain a required action, right? So it's usually in the form of imperative mood or you should, right? But if the following sentence is just a plain sentence, it sounds weird. For example, uh, it's weird to say 살을 빼려면. We learned that this means to lose weight, to try and lose weight, right? 살을 빼려면. 운동을 해요. 운동을 해요. So if 운동을 해요 is, if you mean 운동을 해요 is as an imperative mood, like you, hey, you work out, then it's fine. However, if 운동을 해요 is just a plain sentence that means I work out, then this sentence sounds weird. 살을 빼려면 운동을 해요. No, it should be 살을 빼려고. 살을 빼려고 I work out. 운동을 해요. So if you want to say to lose weight, I work out. To lose weight, I work out. The following sentence, the second sentence is in plain sentence, right? In those, uh, in those sentences, it's weird to say 살을 빼려면. It's weird to use this conjunction. Instead, you should go with 려고. Conjunction. 살을 빼려고 운동을 해요. I work out to uh, lose weight. And you can also go with this conjunction. 살을, 살을. You take out the stem. 빼기 위해. 빼기 위해. Or 위해서 is fine too. 
살을 빼기 위해서 살을 빼기 위해서 운동을 해요. It's fine. However, if you use a plain sentence after a conjunction, after a sentence with the Omian conjunction, it sounds weird. So that is the difference. And if you want to go with the Omian conjunction, 살을 빼려면, if you want to go with this, like I told you guys, the following sentence should be in a form of like suggesting, commanding, or saying you should or I should. So, you should work out is the right sentence, uh, more, most natural sentence to be placed here. 살을 빼려면 운동을 해야 돼요. 살을 빼려면 운동을 해야 돼요. In this sentence, you can use 려면. And in plain sentence, if the next sentence is plain sentence, then you can go with 려고 or 기 위해. Okay, so we just finished learning all these three conjunctions. And I guess the most difficult part about conjunctions would be the irregular verbs. Some verbs don't follow the typical rule when combining, when getting combined with these conjunctions, right? And not just these, but other conjunctions as well. So uh, what I'm planning to do is, like I mentioned briefly earlier, I want to do a lesson on practicing uh, conjugating irregular verb, not just in present form, past form, and future form, but also uh, when they get combined with like different conjunctions, how they change their form. So uh, I am planning to do that lesson. I'm not sure when, but hopefully soon. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next lesson. Bye-bye.